you know, I get a lot of questions from you guys, whether it's on social media or at the boat ramp. Um, what about your jig? And of course they're referencing the grass wizard jig from Nichols and it's my signature series. It's very beautiful for one, <laughs> but no, seriously, a lot of guys ask me, you know, when do you throw that over, you know, a net bait salt lick or even, you know, like the pocket slam I like to put on the back of my jig, um, over just throwing that as a Texas rig. When do you, when do you use the jig? Well, if you can get away with throwing a jig and what I mean by is it some, it's a big bulky presentation and some days they just don't want that but your hookup ratio on a jig and specifically the JT Kenny Grass Wizard jig from Nichols it is when you jack him with a jig and you get that solid thunk, hook set like you got him he's not coming off now when you're throwing a pack of slim or, or a salt lick or any of those things you know I got my trocar hook in there and most of the time I get them with that too but there's just something solid about when you get them on a jig but hey I'll be the first one to admit Sometimes a jig just doesn't come through the cover as good as just a regular Texas rig does. Um, now this one comes through grass really, really well because of the pointed head. Well, it's named the Grass Wizard, so hey. But it does, it comes through the grass really, really good. Obviously hooks them really, really good. It's got that great big gaff hook in it. Um, but when I throw a jig is when I feel like I can get away with it. You know what I'm saying? When it's still, my bait still falls down through the cover really easily. Um, you guys hear me all the time talking about, you know, efficiency, efficiency. You want to be efficient. You want to be able to pitch your bait up there and it fall down into the cover that you're fishing really, really easily. And sometimes a jig is just not that bait. But on the times that it is, you're going to find me throwing a jig. So as long as it falls through the cover really easily, um, you can get away with, with using pretty heavy line with a jig there's a lot of advantages to it um, but when you're fishing grass you know unless it's super super matted grass you know just like this this scattered stuff you can see just under the water around here you're gonna find me throwing this jig and just you know whether it's to the like there's a little point of grass right there or a little hole like right here's a little hole in the grass you know I'm just gonna flip it up there and just let it fall right down into that hole you know and, and it's I don't leave it in there very long I'm fishing a specific target with it with the jig most of the time. Now there's sometimes, you know, you might be dragging it out across a drop off or something like that. But for this heavy cover kind of stuff, I'm just picking out these little, there's another hole right there. I'm just picking out these little holes in the grass, just letting it sink down in there. But whether there's a fish spawning in there or they're just using the edges of that hole just to ambush bait. Hop it a couple of times, bring it back out. And then you can see there's a little point of the grass right over there. Pitch it right over there, right off the edge of that little point. Let it fall down, hop it a couple times. I'm not leaving it in there a long time. Most of the time when they're gonna hit a jig, they hit it pretty quick. But that, like I said, when you can get away with it is really the answer to when I use the JT Kenny Grass Wizard Jig.